Will it go on fire? Oh yes. <laughs> it did. This is what have come out. Hello makeshifters. Today we're making a, a jig weight in the shape of a fish head. We already made two kinds of other weights on the channel for heavy jigging and then for your light and medium jigging. But those weights were round and ordinary shape. The weight that we're making today, because of its shape, it's going to wobble in the water slightly when you retrieve the jig lure and it can have a positive effect on your jigging. Let's make it. The three main lead source sources I know guys is if you want to get it you need to talk to a roofer, to a plumber or to an electrician. Electricians would have wires wrapped in a lead core, a plumber would have some lead pipes and a roofer would have this kind of lead that is quite thin and it's used to apply in between the joints on the roof so so it doesn't leak. Also guys, another source I know, if you go to a garage and ask for some car balancing weights, wheel weights, they have lead as well. If you melt them down, that can work. And if all else fails, you can buy it online or like me, you can go into an, to an angling store and pick out the biggest cheapest lead weight for sea fishing and then we're going to melt this down today and use it. Before we start melting lead guys I'm going to put on goggles, mask and gloves and do it in a ventilated place or outside. The lead have melted guys. Now we're going to take our large fishing weight and put it inside. And any debris that is in there, including that wire loop, it's going to float to the top because lead is the heaviest material in this pot and everything else will float to the surface. There it is, guys. There's the loop. Now let's give it a steer. Take away debris from the top. The slot is pretty clean, but I'm going to wax it anyway with a bit of candle wax. Here we go. It's going to purify the lead and take away the film off the top. I'm going to use this big tablespoon as a mold for pouring ingots. There's the first ingot, guys. A few more to go. Here we go, guys. I poured a few ingots. Now I have to drop them in the lee melting pot and pour a few weights. If you look at it there, it's really handy. You have a lever. And then if you see down there, when I'm going to open the lever, it's going to pour. Let's put our ingots in and then we'll be ready to pour. Will it go on fire? Oh yes, <laughs> it did. You see, when it gets too hot, it goes on fire, if the lead, lead temperature is too hot. Let's give it a steer, guys. You see, all the film got off the top and the lead being, being purified. 
this is gonna go inside the mold and we're gonna blacken it with the candle soot just so the lead weight's gonna slide off it easier let's do a few practice pours guys so we'll get the mold hot This is what we got guys, we are going to throw it back into the into the lead melting pot and then pour again. The wires are inside the mold, let's pour. Here we go guys, this is what have come out. You see guys, they will slide off easy. Weights are poured, let's remove this part on it. The weight has the right shape now, there is no extra bits sticking out of it. So now all we need to do is make the wire loops for it. I got the thickest wire that I could find that can fit into the slot without getting stuck and it happens to be 0.6 millimeters in diameter. And from this coil I have cut 7 centimeters of it. I got my round nose pliers. I have squeezed it about in the middle of the round nose so the loop was not too big or too small and on this side I have about 3 cm tag end sticking out and this one is about 4 cm. Let's make a loop, a bend like this and then we're going to bend it just one time And it gave us a loop like that, that's looking up. It's not straight, let's straighten it. We have this tag end that's coming from the bottom. We're just going to cut it off. Now there's still a tiny little bit sticking out. We're going to trim one or two millimeters off it. Now we need to make the front loop. We made a bend like so. Because there is a mark there, we know where to bend it. We are going to cut this tag end flush with this bend. Now we'll make the front loop smaller.
If we look at it this way, the front loop is not straight. It is tracking this way a bit. We're just going to straighten it. That is the finished wire loop carcass for the jig weight. So I'm just going to insert the front end a little bit. Bring up the bottom tag end. Put it on the top. And then push it in. And the good thing about a weight like that, it lets you change the lures quickly. Just pull this bit out, put the lure on, and, and there you have it. The lures and the weight ready to fish. I have already made two other different kinds of weights on the channel for heavy jigging and then for your normal light and medium jigging. They were both round shaped. So why do we need another weight? The weight that we made today have a shape of a fish head, but apart from that, that shape helps it to wobble in the water when you retrieve the jig. Let me test it in the bathtub and show you. These weights don't have the numbers on them. But the biggest one out of that mold is weighing 9.3 grams. I checked the weight of each one of them and I put them in the Ziploc bags. So the smallest one we have is 3.5 grams. And then the biggest one right here, it is 9.3. So I'm just going to keep them in the bag. And this way we can take it fishing with us and not get confused about uh, the weight of the jig. In the next episode I'm going to do a jigging tutorial with this weight and this lure and tell you almost everything I know about jigging. And it turned out to be pretty good. Let me attach the footage. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is something bigger guys. Oh, that's a bit bigger. Oh, that was a that was a good bite, guys. Let me let me try to land them here. look at that guys that's the biggest one today so guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next episode